I'm David Toman, author of NootropicsExpert.com, and in this video I'm going to share with you what I know about NADH as a nootropic. What it is, why we use it, the science behind it, dosage, and side effects. NADH is the active coenzyme form of vitamin B3, or niacin. Discovered in the early 1900s, it's also known as coenzyme 1. NADH is found in and critical for the health of every cell in your body. NADH is a reduced form of NAD, making it the active form which can donate electrons. NADH is the primary carrier of electrons from glucose and lactate for ATP synthesis. ATP is also the fuel source for mitochondria, the power supply in each of your brain cells. And so you'll need NADH to transfer the energy from the food that you eat into the type of energy your body can use. Now you get a small amount of NADH by eating meat, poultry, and fish. Vegetables have very low concentrations of NADH. So vegetarians are typically low in NADH. And since NADH is, a very, is very unstable, much of it is lost through cooking. Now when you supplement with NADH, cerebral electrical activity increases in areas of your brain used for attention, cognition, focus, memory, concentration, and decision making. Well first, NADH increases the production of ATP. NADH carries the electrons needed for the synthesis of ATP. Your brain cell mitochondria depend on the fuel ATP to function and to stay healthy. By providing the means for ATP synthesis, NADH is involved in cognition, focus, concentration, memory, and processing speed. And NADH plays an important role in mediating uh, brain aging and tissue damage, even decreasing the damage done by strokes. In one double-blind placebo-controlled study, researchers did a three-month trial with chronic pa fatigue patients. 86 patients were chosen to receive either 20 milligrams of NADH daily or a placebo for the first two months, and the mean age of these participants was 47 years. The study measured the intensity of fatigue, functional performance, uh, mood state, the functional impact of fatigue, quality of life, sleep quality, and exercise capacity. And each was measured prior to the study and then at 30, 60, and 90 days of treatment. The study found that oral administration of NADH resulted in decreased anxiety and maximum heart rate. And second, NADH increases neurotransmitters. NADH is directly involved in the production of the critical neurotransmitters dopamine and norepinephrine. Uh, dopamine is usually made inside the neurons that uh, use it by the amino acid tyrosine, which is first converted to L-DOPA, through the enzyme tyrosine hydroxylase. L-DOPA is then converted to dopamine. Research shows that tyrosine hydroxylase is the rate-limiting controller of dopamine synthesis. And this is seen in Parkinson's patients, where tyrosine hydroxylase is much lower than in healthy people. To complicate this even more, we need to understand what makes tyrosine hydroxylase, hydroxylase work. The coenzyme that activates tyrosine hydroxylase is called H4BP, and it's NADH that activates this enzyme and helps produce for H4BP. Researchers in Australia conducted an open-label trial with 885 Parkinson's patients. The study was conducted to try a therapy that might increase the brain's own dopamine production instead of directly giving the patients L-DOPA. In this study, 415 patients received intravenous NADH and 470 patients got an oral dose of NADH. Both groups showed overall good response to treatment including improvements in motor function, walking, pushing, posture, and speech. They also experience improvements in cognition and mood. 
Now the researchers found increased dopamine metabolites in the urine of the patients, indicating that NADH induced an increase in dopamine production. Most of the Parkinson's patients were able to reduce and some even eliminated their Parkinson's medications. Research has shown that people with low NADH levels are far more vulnerable to addiction, disease, and other chronic conditions. Low NADH levels can happen at any age, even at birth. In our Western society, NADH is lost in cooking and food processing. And what little remains is broken down by, st by stomach acid and degraded before it's absorbed in your digestive tract. When you take NADH as a supplement, your cells think oxygen levels are normal and start working as if they were younger, undamaged cells. Research from hundreds of studies have shown that NADH will boost energy levels and stamina, it'll reduce fatigue, reduce the possibility of age-related diseases, lower blood pressure, provide protection and energy to your brain, and boost cerebral blood flow. Using NADH as a nootropic can boost ATP synthesis in your brain and increase the production of neurotransmitters dopamine, norepinephrine, and serotonin. You should experience a boost in mental and physical energy levels, a better mood, improved cognition, and alertness. NADH even helps reverse the symptoms related to jet lag and has been shown to alleviate the symptoms of chronic fatigue syndrome, including brain fog, improved mood and energy, and better cognition. And neurohackers report more endurance during workouts and running. Now I mentioned before that we've got a lot of research available on NADH. I've got more detailed clinical research that you can take a look at in the article over on NootropicsExpert.com. So if you'd like to see the details of each of these clinical studies I'm going to mention here, please go to NootropicsExpert.com and search for NADH. I've got a study that shows that NADH helps reduce jet lag. I've got another study that shows NADH regenerates stem cells in the brain. Another study that shows that NADH decreases anxiety. And finally, I've got a study on how NADH reduces symptoms of chronic fatigue syndrome. So if you'd like to see the details of the studies, please click on the link below this video, go to the article on Neutropics Expert, and check out the studies. NADH is the coenzyme antioxidant form of vitamin B3, or niacin, and is a naturally occurring enzyme found in all, of the, all living cells and it's necessary for cellular ATP synthesis and energy production. NADH is available in tablet form as 5, 10, and 20 milligram tablets. It's faster acting if you can find sublingual tablets. If you're looking to boost dopamine, stack your NADH with N-acetyltyrosine, L-tyrosine, or NALT, because NADH converts tyrosine to dopamine. Your body naturally produces NADH, so it's non-toxic and very well tolerated. NADH should not produce side effects. NADH is highly unstable, and for it to remain effective needs to be in stabilized form. Most neurohackers recommend the patented stabilized form of NADH that's made by a German company called Anada. That's spelled E-N-A-D-A, -A, Anada. A couple of major supplement manufacturers license the Anada brand of NADH, so check the labels. So my nootropics expert recommendation for NADH is 10 milligrams a day. And that's my report on NADH. If you want to see links to the studies I talked about, go to nootropicsexpert.com and search for NADH, or click on the link below this video. There you'll find a full transcript of this video and you'll find dozens of articles on all the well-known nootropics on Nootropics Expert. If you have any questions or you want to share your experience using NADH, please use the comment section at the bottom of the post 
over on NootropicsExpert.com. I respond to comments and questions at Nootropics Expert usually the same day. If you want to see more videos on all the best nootropics used today, subscribe to this channel before you leave. I'll be putting up new videos on nootropics and optimizing your brain every week. I'm David Toman, author of Nootropics Expert.